Okay, it is dusk. Uh, it is 8.20 and it's going to be dark in about an hour. I got a call earlier today um, for some bees that had moved into a lady's uh, squirrel um, box, I guess. Ooh, look at the sun. It's pretty sun. It's pretty red. We're getting these really dark red suns from all the uh, fires burning out west and blowing this way. Anyways, um, she had a squirrel box and the bees moved in there in the spring so they swarmed from somewhere and then moved in and uh, they've been there all all summer well they've outgrown the box they're actually building comb on the outside of the box right now so i looked at earlier and um it should be pretty easy i'm just waiting you know until it gets dark here so all the bees will be back into the hive and then i can go cut it off the tree and bring it back and i plan on just putting it directly into a new box. So it should fit, I'll have to use um, one super and then probably a small on top of that. And I think I could just put the whole thing inside there, not put any frames in, just let them build comb crazy. And then I'll put my uh, honey boxes on top of that. Um, I've been doing that for a while now where I just leave the bottom boxes um, just let them do whatever they want inside there. I never go into them unless I see a problem. It works pretty good. So it's just me running out there. I'll see if I can get any uh, video of it. When they're swarming, they're really docile too, but in the hive, they're not a little different. Okay. Yeah. I only had one fly off. That's pretty good. Now the next trick. Did that um, sugar water do the trick? Yep. They're all just sitting there and they can't fly and they're probably more interested in what's, what's on them than anything else. Yeah. Do you need some packing tape or anything? No. Just fold it closed and Okay, I'm just leaving after getting the bees. A uh, super nice couple. Um, off me some apples off their trees and things. So I'm just gonna take my time to drive back really slow. The apiary's four and a half miles away, five miles away. And um, I have the um, squirrel box sitting inside another box, but it's upright. And 
it could fall over, so I don't want that to happen. Actually, I may stop up here and maybe lay it on its side, but the problem with laying on its side is that the comb inside is no longer this way. The gravity is now pushing it to the side, and it could actually relax squishing bees and causing chaos inside. So I'm going to try and get this back as gently as I can and get it put into uh, the new home before it gets too dark. Here's a little kit my wife makes up for me, so I got um, that's the ingredients in it. And you take the meat tenderizer paste and uh, rub, rub it on the uh, wound, rub it where you got stung at, and it'll help to pull some of the toxins out. But you're supposed to chew these um, versus just ingesting them, because when you chew them, it gets uh, more directly into your system a lot faster, and it tastes awful. I mean, just ugh, horrid. Um, but it does, it does help. If I don't uh, chew those, it swells up worse. My joints start to, um, you know, get sore and uh, feel swollen. So it definitely helps. But anyways, I'm backed up to the hives. See them back there. I'm going to go ahead and um, get suited up and then see if I can't get these ta bees taken care of before they start filling the whole box full of, full of honey. Um, again, I'm going to do is... I put that whole squirrel box inside uh, my supers, and there's no frames in there right now. And I was just going to let them build out how they want, but that box is just a little bit too tall. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take that box out, drill a hole in the side, put an inch and a half PVC pipe into the um, uh, super, and then mount the squirrel box next to it. And then I'm going to cover up their hole that they've been getting in and out of, it's going to force them to go through my new super or through the super and then out. Um, and so eventually what that'll do is it will start building inside that super and build that out. And then um, I'll probably leave it there all winter long since we're getting into late July right now. I want to make sure that the honey and the stores they have built up inside that squirrel box um, will help to get them through the winter. But hopefully they'll be able to build enough inside the um uh, the new super between now and, and fall to be able to uh, insulate it with their comb and things like that and get that taken care of. So it'll be interesting to see if they can survive through the winter. Typically you don't get swarms this late in the year. You don't want to get bees this late in the year um, because they don't, they won't be able to build up enough reserves and enough honey to get them through the winter time. Um, luckily this one, I literally took the whole hive and just picked it up and moved it out here. So all their stock and their supplies are already with them. Um, so hopefully that will that will give them an edge and be able to make it through the winter. And I hope they won't get stung this time. But I think I got everything I need. And um, go ahead and get to work here. Get my suit on. And um, it's supposed to be really hot today. It's 8.30 right now. And it's about 72 degrees. I think it's supposed to get heat index around 100. So I want to get this done before it gets too hot and I start dying from sweat. So the idea here is going to be to take the box that's in there, I'm going to build a platform off of these two and then set it out here and then run a pipe into that box and I can take these off. Um, the reason why I got to run a pipe through it, not just butt them up next to each other, I wouldn't be able to get my lid on if um, I didn't have some sort of a gap in there. It'd be a lot easier if I could just slip that over, but um, of course I got to drill a hole and put this uh, PVC pipe in there. But I'm sure they're grumpy. So I'm going to spray them down with sugar water, 
and um, get the smoker going. And these are the frames I'm going to put inside. They'll be a little rough, a couple years old, but they should be able to clean them up okay. see if I got a rubber band in my truck I can tie this up inside one of those frames and they get them help them get a little going on some more uh, um, comb production I don't know if I have a rubber band with me or not though ah, I do have rubber band What I'm going to do is take this frame, got some combing already, I'm just going to put a rubber band around this piece that I just put in from their hive. Oh, the rubber band broke. Now, nope. I wonder if I can just wedge it in there. Seems like it's fitting pretty good right now. And then they will build onto it. That's how it works. Yeah, I think we're done. I may go ahead and put a strap around that just to uh, ensure that it's not going to blow over at any time. But now the bees will have to go figure out how to go down and then out and then out that way. And they will figure it out. And then they'll be able to um, start building comb in that new box. I'll leave this out here all winter, most likely, and then next uh, spring I'll try to take this off and um, make sure the queen's not in there and all that good stuff. But went pretty smooth. I just want to strap it down and then we'll be good to go. Mm -hmm. 